Hey everyone, it is me, FC, and today we are going to go over the updates that Richard Hart has given us on the Pulse Chain launch. So let's just dive right in. He's posted two different tweets that give us a little bit more information on what's going to happen. So let's start with this one. Uh, so Pulse Chain will not be launching this month. I'll keep up my uh, outrage marketing metrics look good so far. So the key to this is that it is not going to launch this month and this month is May. So we can hopefully assume that it will be in June, but who knows if it will be postponed um, for even longer. Now, I wouldn't even say it's being postponed because they are the devs and the entire team are working to make sure that it's exactly what they want it to be, which I think is great because like we don't want a broken product, right? And then here's a pulse chain update. The validator rotation slashing delegating code has been mostly rewritten and partially implemented in native Go outside the EVM, thus not in solidity for much higher throughput. And so what this means is what Richard says is that pulse chain is getting faster, safer, and more powerful, which this is seriously awesome. Um, I have a video where I compare Ethereum and pulse chain. I'll link it up above. And in that video, I talk about how Pulse Chain is already going to be faster than Ethereum. And so this is great to hear that it's going to be even faster what they thought. So moving forward, who knows when it's going to come out, but I'm here waiting patiently. I hope you are too. I want to know two things in the comments. Um, the first thing is when do you think the uh, Pulse Chain ecosystem will launch and then i'll get to the second thing uh, later on in this video so pulse chain has is not coming out uh just yet so what are ways that you can prepare for the pulse chain to launch i have a little list that i have written up and in this list oh, um we have how to prepare for mainnet there are many different ways that you can be in this right now. If you are completely on a centralized app like Coinbase or like crypto.com, you're going to want to move your coins over to a wallet. So I actually have mine, actually not on MetaMask anymore. I only use Trezors now, um, but you're going to want to use, move it over to a wallet. The second one is to move, so have a wallet and then move all of your ERC20 tokens to that wallet. You're going to want to practice on testnet. We're going to come back to that. You're going to want to purchase a hard wallet. Suggestion on purchasing a hard wallet is you are going to want to make sure that you're buying it from the manufacturer just so you know that it's completely authentic. Uh, I work in brand protection and you never know honestly if your item's authentic, but getting it directly from the manufacturer is going to be your best bet. And then creating a mainnet strategy for um, when it launches and then turn on tweet notifications for Richard Hart. So Richard will tweet when mainnet is live and so you're going to want to have those notifications on. To backtrack to the practice on testnet, I did bring up the Pulse Chain network right here and testnet is live. So the second thing that I want to know in the comments is have you been practicing everything pulse on testnet i want to uh, know what you've been doing just because that gives me a better uh understanding on you know what's been going on within the community i have personally been bad at this last couple of weeks i've definitely slacked off and it's my goal starting this week to honestly spend at least 10 minutes a day within testnet just so i don't lose that skill of going through things and you know knowing how the staking works and the bridge works and you know like I'm even thinking like okay wait what where do I find the bridge so make sure that you are you know going through testnet because it's going to be very beneficial to know what's going on before mainnet goes live and to be able to you know get into testnet here is the information just right on pulsechain.com. So super easy and it brings you to each of these different websites. So if I wanted, you know, to go refresh my memory on the bridge, I would just come in here to the pulse ramp and go through that. And then it gives you um, other options uh, through here of, you know, what things are. 
So, are you prepared for mainnet? Uh, put that also in the comments, and if you have questions, please just put them below, and I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks! Bye!